Hello, all my little bun buns. Daisy, you're feeling a bit uh, capish tonight, and uh, well, tonight's video is going to be another thoughts video. And we're going to be talking about another movie off the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's another number one. Well, it, that doesn't say number one, but it's uh, the first of a series of three so far, and that will be Thor. He thought because it hurt. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But Thor was definitely a movie with Chris Helmsworth, that's the one. Chris Helmsworth is from Star Trek? He was in Star Trek? I didn't know that. Anyway. So we have a fairly good-looking Thor, which is not a bad thing. Um, and spoiler alert, just in case of emergency, you know, in case I say something stupid in this video. Uh, I don't want to give anything away to anyone who's missed Thor so far. As you can't tell, it's in the DVD format, which means I've had this for a long time. Uh, Pre-being Blu-ray, what I was purchasing all the time, and uh, was not qualified to be a thing I cared about replacing with Blu-ray. DVD was good enough. Also, it's available on Disney Plus in case you want to watch it there, too. Uh, as far as uh, Marvel movies goes, this definitely was pretty low. And that was all story-based. I would rank this right around how I feel about Iron Man 3. Uh, it felt about the same kind of energy. And that's kind of a bummer, as a bummer of a way to start a series of movies. So we do start off with Thor being all Thortastic, and him and his Asgardian buddies uh, are off adventuring and doing stuff, and... They stupid as stuff, and uh, Thor gets in trouble, and gets banished to Earth, without his abilities. With it turned into a normal mortal human, no hammer, nothing fun, just stuck on Earth as a dude. And this is why I compare it to Iron Man three, because that's how what happened to Tony. Essentially, he got stuck somewhere without his armor. And it's just so stretchy, boring. It's like, it felt more like an episode of The Odd Couple than a, an exciting superhero movie. It mostly felt like he was just like awkward person from another culture acclimating to a middle of nowhere uh, town setting. And that's actually most of the movie. I'm not kidding. Characters are great. Okay, Thor himself, Chris Helmsworth, awesome Thor. Loved him in all of his Thoritude through all the Thoring of all the uh, movies he's shown up in. Uh, the love interest girl, she's fine. She's actually pretty okay. Darcy the intern, she is amazing and wonderful and is in WandaVision right now, so I definitely recommend you uh, watch that and get more of her. She's She is the bomb. She's just so quirky, weird lady that just happens to be there. Uh, the old dude. Yeah, he's an old dude. Uh, they're sciencey people and they accidentally run into the banished Thor and uh, shenanigans and shield has come into play and they're uh, protecting the hammer they know it's something special and they're kind of form a an ET-esque kind of tint system over it to uh, experiment with it and explore it and stuff Agent Coulson's there and uh, if you weren't paying attention enough, you would have missed the fact that Hawkeye was in this. But Hawkeye's in this. And uh, 
yeah, he's there. <clears throat> he's in like two scenes for like a minute. And uh, if you didn't know who he was, you never would have guessed. I actually, I actually knew who Hawkeye was. I understood the character. I did not know he was in this. And I did not pick out that that was him. He was actually one of my favorite characters from a few different Iron Man uh, type cartoon things. So, yeah, the fact that I didn't notice him says a lot of how much they didn't address his existence. <sighs> uh, we have Loki being Trixie. Uh, we have some of Thor's friends getting to be badass. It isn't until Thor practically has to give up his life before he's given back his abilities and the hammer, and he gets to take out the destroyer robot -y thing that Loki had sent on Earth to kill him and his buds. Uh, and in the end, they accidentally kind of blow up the Bifrost, the transportation system from Asgard to other places. It was... okay? I mean, I watch this one every once in a while, usually just as background information, just as something to go on when I'm playing a game. But I really... It's not one I like to sit down and just watch it for the story. The story was just so bland. Beginning, good, end, good. All of the middle, which is most of the movie. Dull. Awkward. Culture shock. But not that great. Yeah, there's a few good laughs when he smashes the coffee mug when he liked coffee. That's about it. There's there's not much going on here. It's really... It's a snore. And that's, that's not how a, a Thor movie should have been. I had more fun, I think, with the Hulk movie because we had Hulk at least hulking. This, we had Thor being... Ugh... More like he was in the end of Endgame, kind of the uh, Big Lebowski, you know, uh, just kind of a annoying bum-like character that doesn't understand that he has to pay for stuff, doesn't understand he's not like a god and shouldn't be breaking everything or ordering people around. <sighs> Sorry, Chris. You deserve better. You deserve better writing. You got it later, but this... This was dull. This had no heart. At least that's my point of view here. So, I do apologize about having to give such a downer review to Thor. Which I feel so misrepresented of by the, uh, like, Thor being all Thortastic on the cover and all these cool people, like Odin and Loki and is that Lady Sith or is that his girlfriend? I can't tell from the picture. And uh, that's Heimdall. Is that his girlfriend? I think that's his girlfriend in the front. It's hard to tell. It's stylized the picture. Uh, but yeah, for as much of the movie as we have Thor the Bomb Thor the Adventure, the Avenger on the cover just does not seem right. <sighs> yeah, anyway, those are my thoughts on this Thor movie. So, uh, did you enjoy it? Did you watch it? Did you feel similar? Did you actually really get down with this? Was it your jam? Let me know. I apologize if I, you know, hate on something you liked, but uh, it happens occasionally. I don't necessarily like everything in the world. Uh, so, your opinions on this movie? Comment box below. Get typing, typing. I'd love to hear. Uh, but otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the little dingly bell for a little dingly bell. Let you know when I post new videos. You never know. Could be Daisy. Could be in a cape. Like wearing a cape. Like wearing Daisy. Both of them like being on camera. But, and, uh, my Patreon link. And my coffee link are both in the description box below. 
Uh, both are good ways to support the channel if you're so inclined. Um, not required, I don't hide anything behind the paywall. I do appreciate absolutely every penny, and they do help support the channel. Uh, but for now, this little Bunners is going to hop off. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're not very Thor at me for saying a bad review on Thor. But uh, it had to happen. Sorry. But better view reviews to come uh, for now. Stay bunny. Stay fluff. I'll see you all again on a future video. Uh, some pun about Thor. I couldn't think of one. Anyway, bye. <laughs>